right. This is going to be an interesting one. We're going to do it in black and white this time. Another black and white job for this demo set. So, I'm going to make it a map, map mode for this. Oh, we don't want auto color. It'll, it'll turn black and white actually if it was auto colored. But I'd rather do it manually just in case. 200% for the enlargement. And uh, this user interface is a pain. This is the stupid design of Konica Minolta. I don't like the way they've designed this or redesigned the, pan the panel. I wish they could have kept uh, the original um, tabs like on the old C353 that I once had before it before it broke down and there was no spare parts available or the service agreement was void because the spare parts availability was no longer. So it's not really good uh, having to deal with it, but I had to basically take out a bank loan and get a brand new fucking equipment. So this is too big. This is what we're photocopying. This page, the front cover, why we build Rowan Moore, whatever he is. So we're just going to, trying to think what we're going to do with this. So we're going to make it maybe 160 by 160. But yeah, it's um, it's what happens when big corporations like Konica Minolta don't want to keep your machine going because they want to make more money out of, out of selling a new one which is not good when you don't have much money but not only that it's really not good for the planet it doesn't make environmental sense to make machines last only a short time so i'm really angry at the company conica minolta for this and they just don't know what to do to do do it right they do it all wrong they're all fuckwits they all care about money and that's that's it money is their only is the only thing they really give a fuck about now that looks interesting uh wondering if we're gonna looks wishy-washy and pale but we can make that look better so we've made it too light uh wondering if maybe the vertical the horizontal could be made bigger so the vertical, the horizontal will be 200 and the vertical will remain at 160. So now we're just going to darken things up. We're just going to now drop, take the density and put it in the middle. Uh, but yeah, they just care about money. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about their customers. They just care about money. That's all, that, that's the only thing they really bother with is, is money and they just love money now I've got to feel I've done this wrong I I enlarged it actually this actually might look better this error that I just made um, because I wanted to enlarge this out uh, but it's it's still big and prominent so wondering what we're going to do uh, to get rid of the prominence of this part of the image it's at the bottom of the image so I'm just going to quickly I'm just going to slide it up it's got stuck so we're just going to slide it up I don't know how this is going to work if it's going to be any better than the first one that I just did so I'm just lining up the edge there but basically kind of and alter just care about money they don't care about people who use their equipments and that they pretend to care but only to see they only just get away with what they can get away with. So they don't, if they had their way, they wouldn't, they'd sell you a box that doesn't work at all. If they had, if they, if they could sell something stupid like that, they would. They would, they're just a bunch of mean-spirited assholes, these kind of Minolta people. Uh, that looks a lot better. Looks a bit backgroundy because the, this is off the glass a bit. It's not flat on the glass. So I'm just going to basically apply some background removal for this. So I'm going to apply some background removal, make it a little bit more crisp. 
So let's see how we go. But yeah, you can tell I just care about the money. You know, things don't last. You know, toner cartridges run out quicker. You know, they just they just use all these diabolical little tricks to to make money. And that looks a lot better now. That's a lot more crisp. Now that machine's making some funny noises. So I'm wondering if we're going to make it where we're going to make the centre of this job. It's going to be there. But yeah, you can just you just tell, you know, that companies like Konica Minolta just don't give a flying fuck about the customer, really. They just make it look that way so that they can make more money. They don't care. They just don't fucking care. They just don't care about about the customer, even though they, they try to make out that they do, but they don't. Uh, it's really quite diabolical, but that's them. They are diabolical. You know, you know they don't like their... You can tell they don't like their job. They don't like their industry. They just do it because it makes a lot of fucking money. It is. It's a money fucking wrought. And people just... Well, we have to... We need the product. That's the problem. We need the fucking product. Um, and that's the, that's, the, that's the trouble we have... If we have to, if we try to go without, we can't because we're dependent on the product. I need this product so I can make my fucking videos. And there's no other brand of photocopier that I can buy that's any different to this. Maybe, Mark, maybe worse than this. This is probably the best equipment I could get my hands on at the price that I was looking at. Uh, now, I forgot to put press the mirror image button. So this is what's come out a negative image. That looks really nice. So basically, I have to use I have to f use what what is available. And basically, Konica Minolta is I've deemed this the probably the better of the choices that we've got on the market for photocopiers. But basically, we can't. Basically, it's it's just not good enough, folks. This machine will be obsolete in less than five years' time. It'll be no good to me. And I have to keep paying it off for six years after I first started the bank loan. And basically, it's gonna, it's, this machine will only have spare parts for five years. So six years is one year too late. And then I'll fucking have a, a non-working gadget. This big hulk in my bedroom. So... I'm hoping that I've got certain things that I'm doing that I'm hoping to get out of this situation. I'm not going to live alone forever. I'll be getting married to my future husband, Luigi. <laughs> and we're going to basically, yeah, I just have to do this work that I have to do while I'm still here. So this is my mirror image for this to make this Harlequin effect um, black and white piece. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really bad that these machines don't last hardly as long as they should. The minimal amount of time a photocopier should last has got to be at least 10 years. Otherwise, it's just too short. It's five years is just too short. It's ridiculous. But anyway, that looks quite interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.